go to uh, out to Oklahoma City. We're going to be joined on the NBA TV video phone by Hilton Armstrong, who joins us from the Ford Center. Hilton, Matt Lachlan, along with Fred Carter here in New York City. Thanks very much for joining us. Talk a little bit about what this victory meant for the team and how it all came about. Um, we just came out with a lot of assistance and we just want to get ready for the next couple of games and hopefully it can carry over. What are you doing on the offensive boards? Four offensive rebounds, five for six for the floor, two for two for the foul line. Talk to me about you offensive rebounding. Um, today I just felt real comfortable. Um, I know LeBron James out there is a big name, and I just wanted to play hard against him and get in the game. Like He's an all-star right now, and I just wanted to step my um, game up a little bit tonight. Hilton, we're going to ask you to do two things. Answer this following question, and as you do so, move that microphone a little closer uh, to your mouth so we can hear you a little more clearly. You're getting a little more time lately. Now, we know about the injuries that have befallen the Hornets team, but it also looks like as you get a little more time, obviously you're a little more comfortable, and Byron Scott feels that you're starting to come on now in this first year. Um, yeah, I'm trying to. With David West out, um, everybody has to step up a little more, so I'm just trying to help out as much as possible. What's been the biggest adjustment for you coming to the NBA? Um, probably the traveling. Um, I still just have to get used to that. My body hasn't caught up to me yet, even still. I just time zone to time zone every other day. Just real crazy. I'm not used to it. Well, that's something that happens. It takes a while getting off airplanes and time zones. But talk to me about Chris Paul and what you think of his play, especially the night when you're minus all the, uh, those other offensive players he had to carry the load. Yeah, Chris Paul is a phenomenal player. I'm glad to be on the team with him. He can get you the ball, he can score, he can play defense. He's just a great player. I'm just, I'm blessed to be on his team. Uh, what's the latest on Tyson Chandler? We saw he got shaken up near the end of the ball game. Uh, comes in fourth leading rebounder in the NBA. He's having a terrific year. Uh, any word late in that game? Um, he just twisted his ankle out the end. Um, I think he'll be fine, though. He just got to ice it and put treatment on it and stuff. So now that you're at 500 uh, and you've put some of this bad play behind you, what lies ahead for the Hornets? Um, hopefully we're going to take this game and feed off of it and keep winning after that. We need a good streak to get our momentum up and just get our confidence back and just keep playing hard. How is it in the land of Oklahoma City with the fans? How much support do they give you? And what is the difference in terms of winning ball games in Oklahoma City? Uh, I love playing here. It's just so loud all the time and so many fans. It's just like college and everybody here supportive. Every time I'm on my way to the locker room, somebody got the hand out when they give me five and I just love it. It's just no other place like it. You know, you talked about some of the difficulties with the travel. What are you working on in your game? Um, just trying to work with um, Coach Gattison and posting up a little bit. Um, I think still I need to work on my post moves a little more and get a little more physical and um, in the paint. Are you surprised by some of the adjustments you've had to make, whether to the travel or some of the adjustments you have to make in your game? Did you come in having one thought about life in the NBA and you found that it's something else? Um, I came in, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I just had over my anything and so many great players out there just all came at me at once and I just had to try and catch up to everybody as quick as possible and I'm still trying to work on that. Was it a culture shock for you uh, the, for the coaching in the NBA as opposed to college? As in, in the NBA, they cover every little detail? Yeah, it's um, totally different. Um, in college, well, I had Jim Calhoun and he told me about like, everything. So just screaming at me every two seconds. But it worked out good for me. He got me prepared for everything. So I thank him for that. All right, indeed, uh, Coach Calhoun does get you fired up. There's no doubt about it. Where do you guys fit? You know, we were talking earlier on the night here on NBA TV about where uh, the Hornets might fit in terms of playoff potential. You guys fell just short last year. I know you weren't around for that, but the West has improved this year. Has Chris Paul talked a little bit about what it's going to take to get into that top eight and not be on the outside looking in? Yeah, just keep working hard, man. That's all it is. The harder we work, the better things work out for us. Defensively, we just need to push up, get more aggressive. Offensively, we need to take um, to be poised with everything, and everything will flow good for us. Well, Hilton, thank you very much for spending time with us. Congratulations on thank the you. victory, and good luck the rest of the way with the Hornets. I'd appreciate it. Hilton Armstrong, the rookie out of Connecticut, joining us via the NBA TV video phone from Oklahoma City. We're earlier.